Welcome everyone. Uh, the following is a short video demonstrating how easy it is to make homemade uh, milk kefir. So this is the complete uh, product right here. It's been sitting in my pantry for a couple of days. I put up the lid on it, but I don't tighten it all the way. I uh, allow some air. So then I tighten it, give it a good shake and I just pour it into a plastic strainer. So uh, Kiefer doesn't really like metal. And then I have a plastic uh, bowl and a rubber spatula. Okay, empty all that out. And then I take the spatula and I kind of just uh, strain it through there. And then um, I use organic milk, you can use regular milk, and I also use 2% as well. Uh, so I watch my cholesterol a little bit with that 2%. And I just fill up a fresh uh, one quart uh, bell jar. And I fill it up pretty much all the way up to the top. And then finish off straining here. And you know, every few days uh, the kefir grows a little bit. So periodically I'll take some of the grains out and I literally just put them in my shake because the uh, kefir grains and, you know, it's probably a little bit too much now, but they're uh, very nutritious. And then I literally just transform them over to the new milk. And they're really kind of gelat gelatinous. Uh, it's a symbiotic uh, culture of uh, bacteria and yeast. And it arrived in nature like a couple of thousand years ago. So um, it's naturally made. Man, uh, man has not been able to replicate it. So I just strain off the rest of that there. And then I have the finished product in a bowl here. And what I do is I transport form it into or transfer it into uh, to uh, one pint jars, the quart into one pint jars. Because I drink uh, one pint of this a day. In the morning I put some in a shake and then um, in the evening I just uh, drink some after uh, my dinner. I put a little bit of stevia in it which makes it uh, taste lovely. Uh, but you can just go ahead and put that in the refrigerator and then I put a fresh cap on this and I put it back in the pantry uh, for a couple of days. And I purchased the grains on Amazon and there's uh, one uh, supplier on there and he has like, you know, thousands of uh, really good reviews. So that would be the one to seek out and I purchased like three times. Uh, from the same person now and um, you know every time it's been awesome and they grow well it's just sometimes like I move house or whatever you can you know if you're going on vacation you can put the this in the refrigerator for up to two weeks take it out and the grains will just uh, start uh, growing again and then um, you know also in the summer it can uh, ferment a lot quicker uh, but I still keep it on a two-day schedule. So I kind of uh, train the grains uh, to follow my schedule by just leaving it for two days and then uh, transferring it over, leave it for two days and uh, transfer it over. But it's all real easy and, uh, you know, you can, you can get the supplies uh, just uh, about at any uh, big box store. So, uh, yeah. And it's just been so fantastic for my health. Like one jar, when this is fermented, contains about three to four trillion, not billion, trillion probiotics. So it's been absolutely uh, wonderful for my health. And uh, this uh, video, I have to mention, was inspired by my niece, uh, Sorka. So... Hi Sorka, hopefully you enjoyed this instructional video and everybody else jo joining in too. And I just wish you uh, health and happiness. Take care, bye-bye.